Hi everybody, Namaskaram. I am Dr. Ashutosh Kumar. I am an intervention cardiologist come electrophysiologist. Today I am going to uh, discuss something related to the EP study RF ablations. So EP study full form is uh, that it is an electrophysiological study of heart and RF means radio frequency ablation. So this is our uh, one of the technically advanced mode of treatment for arrhythmia. So in this type of uh, test or investigations what we do is that uh, we are going to study how the electrical flow is happening in the heart. Before going in that I just wanted to make you understand that heart is an autonomous organ having its own nerve supply circulation as well as the electrical uh, circulation also uh, electrical circuit also. So it, it generates its own current uh, which we call as through the SA node CSA. and there is uh, one junction we call as a AV node which is the transmitter. So upper chamber and lower chamber are connected by the one electrical transmitter we call as a AV node and one generator of the heart which call a SA node. So current flows in a very regular way generation happens transmission happen and whole heart is going to be electrified and when the electrification is happening the contraction happens and when the contraction of the heart is happening the blood will be ejected into the cent uh, circulation or it is going to the whole of the body. So whenever the electrical problem happens the patient can have two type of symptoms what we call as a bready arrhythmia means heart rate is going down and tachyarrhythmia when the heart rate is going up. So this is a common phenomena anybody who is running the heart rate will go up and sometime when he is sitting his heart rate may be coming down to the 60 or even 50 and when he is sleeping it may fall to 40 and even uh, 35 in the athletes. So it become very very essential which has to be taken more seriously. So EP study we just study about what is happening with the heart rhythm and when the patient is having particular symptom like palpitation is happening and we are not getting a particular ECG in which we are able to stamp the diagnosis we conduct some tests and the test is in the form of the same non-invasive route like angiography we put three wires inside the heart and by the computerized system we are going to see the electrical normal electrical activity whether any is what you call abnormal circuit is there or not. So heart is a very insulated structure the upper chamber and lower chamber are insulated and there is one transmitter which we call as the AV node through that all the conduction from the upper to lower chamber is happening. So there are some conditions in which the upper chamber and lower chamber are connected by one or more ways or by the more uh, circuits and what we call as abnormal pathway or abnormal circuit and which are the culprits for this tachyarrhythmias means the patient may be developing heart rate which is going from 150 to 250 and these are the circuit which we want to identify, we locate and finally by uh, giving the RF energy or we can say radio frequency ablation or we can say by the heating that particular culprit location we are going to cure the disease and this is called electrophysiological study to locate it and where it is located depending upon that we can uh, put the laser catheter or we can say RF catheter at that location and we can ablate it and cure the disease. And I think in medical science there are very few curable diseases and the, we are happy that as electrophysiologist we are having opportunity to cure the diseases and this comes from the uh, what is called the advancement or the innovation of the electrophysiology study and RF ablation which has taken its leap in last 20 to 30 years in, uh, in our country also. So if you are having tachyarrhythmias or we can say tachycardias which is non-physiological means the patient is not having the heart rate which is going in the normal way. It is abnormal means it is coming unprovoked. We are getting the ECG finding which support that the patient is having uh, ECG abnormality which is due to some abnormal circuit locate it, locate it by the EP study putting the catheter inside the heart by the computerized system we are going to bring the same arrhythmia locate it where it is the culprit part and just by a one burn of 30 seconds the patient's disease get cured. So this is regarding the EP study and regarding the RF ablations so RF ablation is the energy by which we are going to ablate means we are going to heat the particular tissue and uh, make it dead so that it should not give a conduction further in the life. 
but there are other modes also so this is called conventional mode in which we are bringing the arrhythmia and by the fluoroscopy or we can say in the conventional language by the x-ray or by the x-ray uh, radiation we are able to see where the location but now with the advancement we are having two more methods to identify where the rhythm without giving the radiation of x-ray or x-ray radiation is not needed we call as a 3d ablation so 3d mapping is the uh, one of the advanced mode of uh, cardiac arrhythmia detection in which the same the wires we are going to keep but at the same time we are put some patches which may be impedance dependent or which may be magnetic dependent and that will guide from where the rhythm is coming and we can locate we can more precisely locate the uh, location of the culprit abnormal circuit and later on we can just put a ablation catheter or sometimes cryo catheters cryo catheters are the things which are going to freeze the tissue and later on making it dead so that it they are not going to conduct there are some diseases in which there are some substrate has formed means there are some fibrotic tissue has formed inside the heart due to the myocardial infarction or you can say heart attack in the past or disease due to some infections or due to some inflammation so we are going to see those circuits or their location and later on bomb blast by the doing what you call uh, rf ablation energy in that area so that they are not able to uh, give any extra bits which is causing this short circuit type of things so treatment wise ep study is the advanced mode of technology which is used to detect the arrhythmias and particularly the tachyarrhythmias from where it is originating locating and later on by rf ablation radio frequency ablation we are ablating it or if it is uh, a tissue which can be uh, freezed we we are going to freeze the tissue so that it is not able to freeze for a while and make it dead so that it is not going to conduct later in the life and the patient get cure curative treatment from the arrhythmia i think this video will help you about understanding what is ep study and thank you so much for being with us and understanding the cardiac arrhythmia and how to uh, evaluate and how to diagnose by ep study and rf ablation thank you so much